From 15 presidential aspirants based on December 24, 2021 tentative list released by the Paul body, the Commission on Election has further trimmed down the list of presidential bets to 11. Comelec spokesperson Director James Jimenez has recently disclosed the list will continue to decrease as cases filed against some aspirants will have resolution. The tentative list will change mababawasan. Hindi siya madadagdagan mm. siguro, no? Um, so, ano yan? Uh, again, yung mga motions for reconsideration at yung mga uh, certificate of finality of decision, yun lang hinihintay natin. Still in the list are Ernie Abella, Gerald Arcega, Leody de Guzman, Manila Mayor Esco Moreno Dumagoso, former Defense Chief Norberto Gonzalez, Senator Ping Lacson, Faisal Magondato, Bongbong Marcos, Jose Montemayor Jr., Senator Manny Pacquiao, and Vice President Lenny Robredo. Removed from the race are Andes Hilario, Danilo Lihay Lihay, Maria Aurora Marcos, and Edgar Niez. Meanwhile, vice presidential bets remain at nine to include Lito Atienza, Walden Bellio, Rizalito David, Sara Duterte, Manny Lopez, Doc Willie Ong, Kiko Pangilinan, Carlos Serapio, and Senator Vicente Soto III. For senatorials from previous 70, it went down to 64. Jimenez meanwhile clarified that even though an aspirant has a pending case, he might still be included in the printing of ballots. For other cases, again, just like a disqualification case, for example, where the issues are more complicated and probably take longer to resolve, uh, well, hindi sila matatanggal, right? Uh, but they will be able to proceed because there would be nothing uh, hindering their candidacy at that point. Some cases which the Paul body need to resolve include petition to declare as nuisance candidate, disqualification cases, and cancellation of COCs. Presidential aspirant Ferdinand Bongbong Marcus Jr. has the most challenged candidacy with eight petitions filed by several groups. But BBM's cases decreased to five after the dismissal of the other cases. Asher Kadapan Jr., UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.